the start of the video log for the Kilimanjaro trek. Um, after a very stressful journey getting to Heathrow, we're now at uh, Nairobi Airport waiting for our connection to Tanzania. Uh, looking forward to getting into the hotel and getting my head down for some rest before we start the climb the next day. These trips go by in a flash, so I'd like that as well. So make sure that you take in every single second of every single day. Enjoy every bit of it. It's an amazing here we are, day two, at the start of the trek. We're at the registration gate and just about to go in. If you get an idea already, we're quite a long way up. So you straight out that way, that's all Kenya. So if it's completely clear, you'll look over the Kenyan. Plane. We started day three. Uh, we climbed a thousand meters yesterday to about 2,700 meters today. Um, we slept well, four in a hut. The huts are really comfortable. Um, we had a good breakfast, and the, the group seem in good spirits. So onwards and upwards. Here's a wave, mate. Oh, easy, just <laughs> Four, I think. We're at 4,100 metres. Uh, Hank's brought us up to the highest point that we're going to reach today. Best day we've had on the mountain so far. Uh, just look at the view. That's the mountain. to see so many people but it's a fantastic charity still relatively small hell of a lot, big, hell of a lot bigger than some charities but um, we're doing our best to try and get to, uh, to a bigger level and thanks to 
the likes of the representation of this group, we're, we will eventually get there. Um, so we're making good progress. And, um, it's just, like I said again a million times, it's just brilliant to see so many people here. And the one thing that stands out for me as well is the fact that over the last year, year and a half, they've been out and they've been doing all sorts of different work. And uh, you know, the shirt's been represented in so many different places and we're just so grateful for it. But, um, but yeah, Nutshell really dedicated to defeating lung cancer, the only ones that do it. And um, we just appreciate everything that everybody does for us, so, so thank you. Day five, uh, we've been up since six o'clock. We've had our breakfast, we're about to get ready for our morning warm-ups before we head off to Kibo Hut, which is at around 4,100, maybe higher, uh, meters above sea level. It was a difficult night last night because it was so cold and a few people are starting to feel the altitude sickness in the group. Um, but on the whole, things are going okay. We've got a fairly even trek to do today with a, a short uh, c uh, climb that's fairly steep at the end of the level part. So looking forward to today. Kibo is going to be a challenge because of the altitude. But from there, we go on to the summit, keep trekking. Shoulder stretch. <laughs> you devil. <laughs> Here we are trekking in the blazing sun. In the desert. Yeah, just before lunch. We should be at around four and a half. We think four and a half. Four and a half thousand meters. Uh, this is what it looks like. First acclimatization trek after arriving at Kibo. And this is the view. <laughs> Much again. All right, going up a little bit. We'll have another, another little competition for a chocolate bar there. Right. So, apparently, Jason's not allowed to play. Yeah, there you go. And then what we'll do, we'll actually hop over to the next valley, and you'll be able to try a little bit of screen running for those who want. Okay, there's a nice screen there. Uh, see now, he will show us how to do a bit of screen running for those who want. Can try it. Otherwise, a slower part as you want to do. Today's the day. Uh, we've done our acclimatization walk from Kibo. Uh, we walked up to about 5,000 meters above sea level, which apparently is higher than any point in Western Europe, uh, higher than Mont Blanc. But bizarrely, you can get phone signal there, so that was good. Spirits were high. We came back, had a sleep. The air is very thin. 
so it's difficult to catch your breath. But tonight, we start our ascent to the summit tonight. We go for it. Uh, we're all nervously excited at the same time. Uh, this is the night we've been building up to, we've been training for. It's a big night. Uh, hopefully, it goes without a hitch. And I'll see you tomorrow. This is us. After we've passed it's Gilman Point and we've passed Stella Point, and now we go to Uhuru Peak. This is the view. summit walk it was amazing but it was truly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life um, we had a few hours to rest and to have some soup and now we are at the end of a 10 kilometer trek back to our rumbo huts um, Fairly easy level, but quite hard when you've been walking since 11 o'clock the night before and it's now about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, we did it. I'm sure I'll feel much more excited tomorrow. Well, we did it. We're on the way back down now. Uh, about two hours into another seven hour trek. All the way back down to the bottom where we'll have lunch and then head off to our hotel before we can fly back to London. What an experience. Pleased to say that 100% of our group, so that's 30 people we all made it to the top, including some amazing individuals, uh, particularly one lady, Rita, uh, 67 years old with cracked ribs, and she still made it. Um, it's a trip that is truly full of inspirations. Uh, see you at the bottom. Just going through the finish line. The Marangu Route Gate.
this is it, the final morning in Tanzania before we fly back to London. Um, we had a really nice uh, award ceremony last night. Um, I think it's been, to coin a phrase, the trip of a lifetime. I made some friends for life out here and um, it's just starting to sink in what we've actually done. I climbed the tallest, the highest freestanding mountain in the world. Um, hopefully the strength of this achievement will carry us through the rest of our lives. Um, really pleased that it went well and that I managed to do it. Um, here's the next challenge. Yeah.